Welcome to RCR Wireless here at Mobile World Congress. I'm Lamore Schaffman. With me is Nick Carter from Aeroflex. Nick, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you. And so Aeroflex is here showcasing two new items. Tell me about them. Okay, so we have uh, two different demonstrations here. One is our 5G demonstration, uh, which is really all about the next step in mobile communications after LTE Advanced and arguably is what uh, LTE Advanced sort of always promised it would be. The other demonstration that we have is our Wi-Fi offload demonstration. And Wi-Fi offload is a pretty hot topic now amongst carriers and operators. Uh, we have a end-to-end -end handoff happening between LTE and uh, Wi-Fi. We're able to hand off in both directions with seamless handover on the data front. Fantastic. Okay. Well, actually, as soon as we started going into that one, explain to us a little bit more. Why is that so important? We all, we actually, we all know why that's so important. So tell us, can you give us a little bit of the unique sauce or something that uh, what's going on here and why this is so unique for you? Okay. So. Obviously what's important right now is the rollout of LTE Advanced, okay? So it's what's really important is to ensure that the carriers have got the technology and can actually deploy it. So it's all very well coming up with the standards, but you've got to realize the standards and roll it out. And this is where we kind of really add value. We provide test capability to ensure that the functionality will work in real world scenarios. It's not just about getting it working in an ideal environment in a lab, it's about making sure that it works in the real world where you have lots of subscribers, different RF conditions, a mix of technologies, and that's the sort of solution that we provide. Great. And actually, I was just hearing Sprint talk yesterday, and they were talking about what they're working on to get the seamless uh, movement between as one as someone is roaming and as they're sw switching carriers and sw doing it seamlessly and that's a big issue they clearly identify that it was a big issue so it's great to hear that you have a solution for that exactly yeah I mean we're seeing this demand from our entire customer base and that's not just our infrastructure uh, manufactured customers it's also from the carriers as you say it's a big issue right now uh, not everywhere has got seamless LTE coverage yet. You have to support the other technologies and it's not good enough just to work okay on LTE. It's got to work okay on the other technologies as well. So now let's look to the future. 5G. What does 5G mean for you? Because a lot of different people have a lot of different uh, definitions for it. Exactly. And again, our, the, what we're bringing to the 5G party is the realization element of it. Okay. So yes, you're right. There are a lot of different visions for what 5G could be. Different groups are looking at different ideas, different mythologies, different modulation schemes for 5G. Fundamentally, it is all about still getting more bits across the RF interface, but it's also a little bit more than that in the sense that apart from the increase in headline speeds, it's also about improving the average throughput for the average user. So where you have non-ideal RF conditions, it's about providing a relatively better service to those users. Okay. And what is Aeroflex offering? So what Aeroflex is offering is the realization of some of the 5G concepts on a test mobile. So what it means is, rather than just doing MATLAB simulations, we've actually got 5G algorithms running on our test kit that can be used to validate the technology. So again, it's that step from the specification to the actual realization and deployment. Fantastic. It's bringing that much closer to reality. That's exciting. Absolutely. Exactly. It's, it's really being on that cutting edge. Fantastic. So looking at the cutting edge, what is the walk away that you're taking with you from Mobile World Congress? So our main walk away is that really we're positioned very well in terms of being able to provide the tests capability and features that are relevant to people right now. Obviously the 5G is, is more forward looking and no one's deploying 5G today but that's the next thing down, down the pipeline and we're obviously in a great position with the 5G test mobile to be able to deploy it when 5G actually arrives. Nick, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you so much for joining us here at Mobile World Congress. Stay tuned for more from the show floor.